Hello, friends. We're going to be reading from uh, He Stills the Waters, Devotional Thoughts Inspired by the Shore, Carolyn M. Benton, and Darlene A. Russo. Carolyn, she did the uh, scripture and uh, devotional thoughts, and my friend Darlene, she did the uh, illustrations. You can get this uh, on Amazon. Swimming Between the Flags. This is uh, number 22. Swimming Between the Flags. We'll read the scripture first. How can a young person stay on the path of purity? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119, verses 9 through 11. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful, useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Swimming between the flags. In most life, in most lifeguarded beaches, there are two flags set up, one on each side of the guard chair. These flags mark the area swimmers are to stay to enjoy the safety brought by lifeguard supervision. In most lifeguarded beaches, there are two flags set up, one on each side of the guard chair. These flags mark the area swimmers are to stay to enjoy the safety brought by lifeguard supervision. When the waters are calm and visibility clear, the flags may be spaced a fair distance apart. But when the waters are rough or there's mist to obscure visibility, the flag area can be quite narrow. Sometimes the water looks fairly harmless and the flags are surprisingly close together. Often one discovers either upon entering the water or inquiring from the guard, a strong undertow is present. In this case, it is, special, it is especially tricky to stay within the flags. Each time your feet leave the sand, you are moved in a sideways direction, often without any awareness. Until you look up and see, you have almost passed the flag. Unaware swimmers, often young ones, are sometimes oblivious to the fact they have drifted out of the safe area until they hear the whistle of the watchful lifeguard calling them back. The Word of God is very much like these flags. It gives us guidance and direction in safe choices throughout our life. The safest place to be is well within the guidelines of His teaching. In some areas, Scripture appears to give us broad liberty. We, we do indeed enjoy preference and personal freedom in so many decisions we consider. consider. In other areas, Scripture seems narrow. There is a clear guideline or principle that governs certain situations. Instead of wondering if the Bible is too narrow in these areas, consider that perhaps the danger is greater. Okay. Sometimes there is an ob obvious danger. Sometimes it may be a less obvious, but more dangerous undertow stirred up by the enemy of our souls. Be thankful. Be thankful that someone who knows the waters well has placed the markers for you to keep you safe because he loves you. Be thankful that someone who knows the waters well has placed the markers for you to keep you safe because he loves you. Enjoy the protection of swimming between the flies. That's the 22nd read. Father in heaven, have mercy on us. Please forgive us of our sin. 
Thank you for the rain we got tonight. Thank you for the thunder we heard. We'd like to have a little more. But it looks like it's going to be dry for quite a while. Thank you for our blessings, God. Please forgive us of our sin. Thank you for your love, care, and protection. Thank you for your mercy and grace. Thank you for forgiveness. Thank you for healing and health. Please bless my friends, my, my family, my, our animals. Guard us and protect us. Keep us safe and well. We thank you for our blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you, friends. Have a great day.